very short, very short story about the hawk. We're dealing um, with a serpent king that has two snail, a snake, I'm sorry, that growing from his shoulders and his counselors are on him, telling him that in order for him to survive and get rid of the snakes, he has to kill young people and feed these two snakes with their brains, basically. Um, this, is, this is the main plot of the story. The story was written a little more than 1,000 years ago in Iran. And when Donia and I went back to visit the story at the beginning of 2020, we were shocked, um, sadly, amazed to see how um, up to date that story is with what happening all around the world. Um, in that story of Zahak, Ferdowsi, the poet who wrote this story, um, amazingly was able to not just criticize years and years of dictatorship and government and ruler as a metaphor of a serpent king who's killing and eating young people's brain, but also he criticized the culture and a society that not only creates this kind of king, but constantly feeding them and become part of the problem. Um, when Donia and I read the story, we realized that within this past 1,000 years, Ferdowsi di uh, died in the year 1020, and we decided to do this show exactly in 2020, 1,000 years after his death, we realized that kind of government, that kind of serpent king has been all around Iran, Afghanistan, Syria, all over the Middle East, to Asia, to Europe, to Africa, and now, sadly, in the beginning of 2020, I personally thought that we see not only the rise of that kind of idea as a metaphor, a dictatorship, a fascism, uh, a serpent king in the United States of America, but also we see the rise of the society, not only feeding and creating this kind of idea, of course we're talking metaphor right now, but also applauding for it too. That was my idea in January 2020. It was artistic response for me and for the company to what's happening all around the world and especially what's happening today in the United States to, as an artist, hopefully to warn my audience member that let's look at this beautiful poetry from 1,000 years ago and to understand that we all are human beings. We, from different eras, speaking the different languages, different cultures, different color of skin, but our psychic, our psychology are the same. And maybe, and only maybe, we can learn one or two things from different culture in order to protect our own society that we wouldn't create that kind of serpent king here in the in Bluff, United States of America.